Hey guys, Dr. Yo here from ECA Wellness. And are you one of those people that goes to the gym regularly, you eat a specialized diet, and you take supplements, yet you don't see the results that you want? Or you might have been in this situation, where you're going to the gym, you're eating well, and then one day there is a life event, whether it's with your family, health, or work, that prevents you from going back to the gym. So all those gains that you made were suddenly lost, and you quickly put all that weight back on. And why did this happen, and is there something you can do about it? See, exercise has been focused just on losing weight, or in some instances, building muscle mass. And that's all well and great, but exercise should also focus on optimizing your metabolism, building a strong aerobic base, and developing a well-rounded physiology. See, when you do this, you're going to train your body to efficiently break down fat and to also work out harder, which is going to help you lose and keep that weight off. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a training program that you can use that's going to optimize your metabolism, build that strong aerobic base, help you work out harder to help you keep that weight off. So guys, stay tuned and I will dive right in. So when we want to lose weight, we all want to see results as quickly as possible. And when we don't, it can be pretty demoralizing, and a lot of times people will quit that program and hop on to another one. See, losing weight is really hard, and the older we get, our metabolism slows down, and we quickly put weight back on, and our physiology is not as balanced as when we were younger. So the principle behind my exercise methodology is to first burn as many calories as possible so you see some of those initial and early results. And then we work on optimizing your metabolism, building that strong aerobic base, and then developing physiological adaptations to help your body better utilize and break down fats and carbohydrates help you work out harder and longer so that you're not only losing the weight but you're also keeping the weight off. So my program has been designed for people that have a lot of family and work commitments and can only dedicate about three to four days a week at the gym. But if you're someone that has more time to put into the gym and working out, more power to you, you can ramp up your workouts. Each training session is 60 minutes long, and we first start out by engaging in Zone 1 dynamic stretching. Now, Zone 1 is 50 to 60% of your maximum heart rate, and I've made a detailed video about heart rate zones and how to calculate maximum heart rate, so I will post a link to that video down in the description section of this video so you guys can check it out. Now, what we do at ECA Wellness is we do a 30, 20, 15, 10 dynamic stretching. And what that means is we do 30 jumping jacks, 20 full body squats, 15 push-ups, and 10 sit-ups, and we do three sets of this. So as I've mentioned to you in this video and in other videos, Total calories burnt is the key to weight loss. So for the next 45 minutes, we're going to put you in a workout in zones 4, which is 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate, and zone 5, which is 90 to 100% of your maximum heart rate to increase the total calories burnt in the shortest amount of time. And the easiest way to hit zones 4 and 5 is usually with a treadmill. But if you're like me and your knees hurt after running a half a mile on a treadmill and you find it super boring to be running on the treadmill, what we've developed at ECA Wellness is a program that incorporates boxing, kickboxing, battle ropes, kettlebells, and sometimes even with the stationary bike in a group setting that makes it much more fun and engaging and obviously less strain on your knees. So after the initial four to six weeks where we focus just on zone four and five training, then we incorporate zone two workouts into the program. Zone two training is 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate 
And the purpose behind zone two training is to develop those physiological adaptations and to build a strong aerobic base that's going to help you keep the weight off and to optimize your metabolism. So you're not going to see those dramatic and immediate results by focusing just on zone two training. And this is why I start the program out with zone four and five. So you see some immediate results and you don't get demoralized. And then I add the zone two training to build the strong aerobic base and the physiological adaptations. And how the program would work would, again, we start out with zone one dynamic stretching, the 30, 20, 15, 10 for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we move on to the zone two workouts, which is usually some light jogging. Uh, you can get on a treadmill or get on an elliptical. And I recommend about 60 to 75 minutes or longer if you're up to it. And what this is going to do, like I said, is develop that strong aerobic base and those physiological adaptations so that your body is able to better utilize fats and carbohydrates. And sometimes it might look like you're not working out. You probably are not going to be breaking a sweat. And sometimes people look at you and go, is that person even working out? But trust me, there are internal processes that are going on almost on a cellular level and the changes that are taking place are going to help you optimize your metabolism and develop a much more efficient physiological system. So there are two main physiological adaptations to zone two training. One is that you're training your body to use fat more efficiently as an energy source. See, in low heart rate zones, your body uses slow burning fat as its main source of energy. So when you are in zone two training, you're developing physiological adaptations to teach your body how to better utilize breaking down fat. So that when you're not in the gym, those physiological adaptations kick in to help you break down fat. The second main physiological adaptation to zone two training is an increase in mitochondrial density, which is going to delay the formation of lactic acid. See, mitochondria are structures in each of your cells where the energy molecule ATP is formed and where lactic acid is cleared. And physiological studies have shown that zone two training increases the size of the mitochondria which causes it to clear lactic acid faster. And if you can clear lactic acid faster or delay the onset of lactic acid, you work out faster and harder and you're gonna burn more calories, thus you're gonna lose more weight. If you go to the gym four times a week, my program is a three to one ratio where you're doing three days of zone four and five training for 45 minutes and one day of zone two training for 60 to 75 minutes. Now, if you have extra days that you wanna go into the gym, you can do another zone two training or even incorporate zone three training. Now, I'm not a big fan of zone three training. A lot of times it is called the gray zone. And the reason it's called the gray zone because you're not burning as many calories as the zone four and five training and you're not developing those physiological adaptations like uh, zone two. So it's like this in-between zone. You're getting a good workout, you're breaking a sweat. There's definitely some cardiovascular benefits to zone three. So you can incorporate it. Uh, into your workout, but I would probably recommend a zone two training or a zone four and five training for those extra days you wanna throw in. And the important thing behind all of this is that it's not only about training harder, but training smarter so that you can keep the weight off and develop a strong and well-rounded physiology and body. And finally, with any weight loss program, it is important that you develop a healthy diet plan. See, the saying, you are what you eat, is so true. Because if you're putting in more calories than your body can burn, you end up in this rat race where you're trying to ramp up your exercise so that you burn off those extra calories. So guys, thanks so much for watching. 
If you have any questions about the topic in this video, send me a message down below in the comment section or on Instagram at ECA Wellness. And if you guys are liking this video, hit that like button, click the bell so you get notifications when I've posted a new video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, ciao.